Hi, how are you? Recently, I posted, posted pictures about healthy food. How to make you healthy to eat various colors of vegetable or even fruits. Today, we're gonna make this special request called the nice number pork. You can use spaghetti pork and you can use uh, spare ribs. Yeah? Okay, why is called nice lumber pork in my own, my own trees? We use, this is a very important ingredient. This is what, guess? <laughs> it's coffee and lime leaf. So it's a bunch, wash it, dry or fresh one. Why called nice lumber? Because it only involving five lumber, it help you to remember the recipes. So number one is Chinese wine, one unit. I use a tablespoon, which is Chinese table, or you should use a big, you know, Western tablespoon, one, one unit, okay? I will put this recipe after the link, okay? Then, what is it? Two sugar, brown sugar I will use, okay? Three is a um, Chinese special vinegar, vinegar called Zhan Gong Chou. Okay, you can see very dark. You have to use this because you cannot use white vinegar or any apple vinegar because it tastes absolutely different. Really be rare. You can buy this in any of the Oriental supermarket. Then you use two normal soy sauce, light soy sauce. And then you use two dark mushroom soy sauce. Two plus two, what is? Four. So one, two, three, four. What's the last number? Five, yes. So five, the last number is mm, five tablespoons of water. Okay, so we start. Um, the ingredient, besides that, the recipe, the ingredient is what? Well, the main ingredient. Look at that, how beautiful this pork, the belly pork. Um, some, I think this is the best ever I've been using because it's, be, it, it's depending on the surprise of the supermarket. I will choose kind of like a rainbow pork. Why is it called rainbow pork? Because at between the belly have a little bit of fat but not too much at one side. You can see all like this, so a bit and bit and bit. But you do have to have skin. Skin, why? Because skin is a very lateral intake of collagen. Tell you what, I haven't got any makeup on, not even a foundation. So this is my real face, yeah? And so you will have a lovely skin anti-wrinkles prolonging your youth yeah so pumping your face no need Botox or filler I definitely avoid all these chemicals things no chance then why another healthy for your body purple color I tell you it's a miracle color it's very good for your digestive system, prevent, help prevent cancer, heart disease, yes, and also, yeah, very as an antioxidant, yeah, and uh, what else did I say, digestive system, yes, very good for your digestive system. Red is very good for your heart, so it's good for pumping heart circulation, it's important. Orange color is good for your eyes then the green one very good for your liver it's cleansing the blood so it's very important so most of the color is antioxidant it's a lot of them maybe I forgot some check it out okay so water boiling some water first um, so now we started turn on the really high heat boiling pond and put all the pork you cut it about one inches okay one inches yeah dice it 
Okay, put it all in. Hot water. Okay, why are we doing that? Because by doing that, we can um, take out some fat. Although I said, you know, try to minimize it, but, but some certain, you know, amount of fat, which is good for you, really. Not completely dried is good. I tell you what, I always buy um, meat with have, um, I think about 20-30% of fat in it. You know, yeah, it tastes a lot better. So now I start it boiling and yes, that's boiling now. Okay, so pour it out, okay. Wins it. You can see some of the dirt or some of the fat, as this fat is the in the rim of the of the pork. Okay, so wins it out, pour it out again. One more time. So lovely. Look at that. Okay. So pour out all the water. Really? Yes. Okay, pick it back up. Yeah. Mm. Later on, we have to wipe all this fat on the side of the. Okay, now we put it back here. Okay, wipe my hand Sorry. and wipe the side of the pork pot yeah okay Ugh. okay so all the fat come out okay now turn it on again okay. um kind of high heat okay so now you uh fly it means seal the meat so the first seal the meat what you know um, heat it I don't think you need to put oil yeah um, I like this non-stick pan um, which is called a rock isn't it so now you can see you can hear the noise and then you can try the you know So all the water come out. Okay, dry it up. Yeah, still, still a lot of water. You know, yeah. I just dry the water up. Yeah. It quick. I just use a tissue. <laughs> you, you, you don't need to do that. Okay. Now just let okay. it. Brown it, you know, seal the meat. Okay, so we start to do the ingredient, mix the ingredient. One tablespoon of wine. Get the wrong bottle, sorry. Wine. One tablespoon. Mmm, smell gorgeous. I use sao xin wine, seal hangs out. And you can use rice wine. And tiny up to you, but I think sealing out is better. Okay, and two spoon of brown sugar, very generous. Okay, then three spoon of zhen gong chou. Yeah. Yi Sa. Okay. Then four. Oh god. Two dark soy sauce. And 
Two light soy sauce. Okay, perfect. I will put the wine in here because before you doing this, yeah, and it's a very good, you can drip it, juice it, and the meat is a lot more fragrant. So you mix the ingredient, okay? Mix the ingredient. Meanwhile, you can stir the pork. Make sure it's no water left, really. I turn it a bit higher. Okay. Now it's there. Can you see it? I don't want to burn it. No. So it's something like this. Okay. Yeah. All right. So after this, oh gosh, you might can't see it. You turn it down a bit. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, you turn it down a bit. Oh, oh I can smell it now, it's really nice. And in this time, you don't want it stick, right? Okay. Drizzle it. Wow, that's it. Now, I tell you, this is the trick, which is you won't stick your meat and go on burn, burning it, but just brown. Can you see it now? Oh gosh, if you're here, you can smell it. Amazingly gorgeous. Okay, from there, okay, can you see it? It's all brown. Okay, from there, you put the sauce in. All right, now you turn it slightly high back up again. Okay, and make sure you mix it well. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, lovely. From then, you put the coffee in my leaf. Okay. Let it simmer. Eh? At the end, what is it? We forgot number five. Number five, five spoon of one, two, three, four, five water. Stir it. Really nice. Okay, after this, mm, you mix it well. Then you let it simmer, turn it down, just really low fire, and for about half an hour to 45 minutes, the longer will be better. I tell you, this meat, uh, if you leave it overnight, next day, even better. So now we just let it simmer and then the finishing powder, we do it next, okay? All right, so we just leave it simmer for half an hour or 45 minutes. And don't forget to turn it down. Sometime check it out, see whether, um, stir it a bit in case it, you know, burn it. If you let it simmer, very low fire, that would be fine, half an hour to 45 minutes. Occasionally check it, yeah? All right. See you a bit later. Hi, welcome back. Let we started to do the finale, the beautiful color food. Ah, oh. gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. All right, then look at the color, how beautiful coating. Um, more or less, it's not really have any juice left, yeah? If, if in due course, you think your fire, you know, because I, I said no heat, but you have to really monitor it by yourself. If you find it's not much of what you can add a bit more, but I, that 
it should be like that. So the meat is about one kilo of meat. Okay. Now we put the onion. So we move the meat to the side, to the to the edge. Then leave a little hole there. Okay. Then we start. We put the. Oh oh, sorry. It just dropped. Pick it up. All right. And we put the onion first. Why? Because it will have more fragrant in it. Okay. Besides that, all this pack of vitamin C. That's what we really need it nowadays. And vitamin C definitely very good for your skin, immune system. Okay. Now you can see. Hmm. You can turn the fire back on slightly higher because it was simmering. So put a very low level. Yes. All okay. right. So now from the middle, okay. you stir it, mix it up. Now you can smell of the onion. In fact, the original recipe have no um, all this vegetable, but I loved it. I love vegetables. So then you can just have it all. This is just mm, gosh. now you put the pepper. Oh gosh, I tell you, it's absolutely fabulous. Okay, that's it. It's already very concentrated, very dry. So I'm for the cold weather I will serve with with the pot. Pot, okay? So then all you need is put the coloring stuff, you know, all the pepper, all the onion to the side, make it more better presentation. Okay? Um or you can put on the plate, it's up to you. But I prefer it will be warmer. I love the food very, very, you know, like good temperature. Okay. So I put all this really colorful pepper to the side. And then the last one is the onion. This onion is from our garden. I'm, I'm literally harvesting this morning. I think that's it and the end of the season. Really cold now. I was surprised till I can get some in the garden. So you put it aside. Okay, some in the middle. And that's it. If you have any problems, do ask me. But that is it. It's so simple. Yeah. Hope you enjoy it. And see you next time. Healthy food and make you healthy and beautiful. Love you. Look after yourself. Look after nature. The world beautiful because of you. Bye bye.